Greetings from Beaconel Island. What's up guys, Ruffdad here and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we found out that this desert we're in is actually a remote island named Beaconel. And for the most part, we just reunited our party except for Yuna who's still missing and did a bit of treasure hunting. In this episode, we're going to keep following Riku's advice to head towards the Albed's home, which is also here. And let's see if we can track down where... If Yuna's really there like she says they are. Hello! I see an Albed Primer that I missed. And a bunch of fiends. A little late on telling me this is an ambush game. Okay. How about that? Albed Primer volume... 18. Huh. I could have sworn I got the, all the Albed Primers from this area. Well, whatever. Let's just move on and continue exploring the desert. Albed's home has got to be around here somewhere, right? I mean, I know this desert is really vast, but... Seriously, it's got to be around here somewhere. There are way too many signposts here. I just noticed that. Hello, Albed Machina. And we've even got a new Machina, the Mech Gunner. Pretty much, it's just a very more powerful Machina that, to my knowledge, just is just big, burly, and does a lot of damage. But, just like every other Machina, you steal it. Yeah, steal from it. Now, it doesn't cough up an Albed Potion, but it gives us some... It basically kills the Machina in one hit. So I'll be back in a few moments after I've done dismantling the rest of the Machina. And with the Machina disabled, it's time to continue our journey. Again, what's with all the signposts and all the different directions? Ooh, I see a treasure chest! But apparently I'm gonna have to go through some more Machina to get to it. Wonderful. Alright, treasure chest, come to me! Oh, oh don't go down the quicksand. Come to me, treasure chest! Whoa! This is actually a special fiend battle here. Um, these things you'll only find if you actually go into the holes. As you saw, there was kind of a little flower in there. These are Sandragoras. I'm gonna bring Rupted out temporarily. Yeah. 12,750 HP. They're weak to fire like the, uh... One plant that we learned seed cannon from... For Kamari all the way back in uh, Kilika Forest and they absorb water which means if you're using the Brotherhood on your main character yeah he's pretty much worthless well as far as attacking is concerned he can still do other stuff like say Haste Lulu who is now going to proceed to toast this thing uh oh seed burst yeah, this thing not only has seed cannon like those things do, it also has seed burst, which tends to confuse characters. I think it's not really too powerful, but that can become a bit of a mess, especially since you don't have Yuna. Um, I guess I'll just bark Mario into attack a bit. I'm trying to work on his spirit grid a bit more. Way to hit yourself. At least he's not confused anymore. And here comes another seed burst. Joy. Same victim, too. Okay, you know what? Let's fix that. Kamari. Um, to my knowledge, remedies are the only thing that'll cure it if I can. There we go. Um. Let's get Riku in here. I guess she can try stealing from this thing. And we get two more remedies. I'll take that. I get two for the price of one. And I have Kamari attack again. And with Riku, um, hmm. I'm up to 53 Albed potions now. Wonderful. 
Um, I guess I can just chuck a grenade at. I'm getting a pretty good stack of grenades going here. All right, seed burst. What you got? Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Lulu's high ovation. Mm. Well, let's get Orin back in here. Start cutting this big desert weed down. And it's dead. So now I'm free to grab that treasure chest. Thank you for the cleavage shot, Lulu. So now, what is in this treasure chest? We get three mega elixirs. Nice. Oh, hey, another treasure chest. And another very obvious Sandragora. You know what? I want that treasure chest, so... I will be right back after I have slain this thing. Alright, Sandragora beaten. And our reward is two teleport spheres. That could be useful for our sphere grid. So, the arrow's pointing us to go up, so... We go... You're kidding me. I have to fight another Sandragora just to make it through and actually advance? <sighs> I'm starting to get sick of these things. I'll be right back after I've slain yet another desert plant. Alright, the Sandragora has fallen, so I am free to run through his little sand pit in. Hey! So we finally reach home, huh? Alright, Riku. Let's see how impressive the Albed's home is. What's wrong? What's going on? What the hell? Um, your home looks like it's being attacked. You just down there. Of all the places. Let's go. So I'm guessing Yevin found the Albed's home anyway. Because I'm seeing a lot of fiends that are not native to uh, this Yuna? desert. Keaku! Who? Who's attacking us? Protect Drektui! Damn Guado again? A war between Yevon and the Albed? So I'm guessing from what I know of Albed, that's her father. And the Guado are apparently here for the summoners. Wonderful. Those damn Guado just never give up, do they? Good lord. You Riku's friends? Well, just don't stand there. Come on. Another Albed that, that knows English? Out of our home. Oh, oh, Riku. Sid, leader of the Albed. He's my dad. Wait. Let's go. Sid? Yeah. We have to save Uni. Why does that name sound familiar to us? Right. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and save up quick. Okay, now before I go inside... Right here, Albert Primer, Volume 19. Before I go in, I want to point something very important out. This will be the only time in the game you will be able to go through here. So if you are looking to get all the treasure, it's good to get it now. It's good to get it before you leave. Because I know for a fact there's two Albed Primers in here. And if you miss them, I don't believe there's any way to get them back. So there's your warning. Let's go in. And let's kick some Guado ass. Again. All right, Guado. Where are you? Where are you? Whoa! Where did that bomb come from? So yes, this is basically ambushed and wonderful. So this is basically what we're mostly going to be running into 
here in the Albed home. A Guado Guardian accompanied... Hang on. That's... There we go. A Guado Guardian, which, will, as you can see up there, they're a little more powerful now, and they try to nullify Lulu's magic most of all. But they'll also be accompanied by more powerful versions of fiends we have encountered in the past. Mostly from the Meehan High Road or... Uh... Makalania Woods. Which is never a good thing. So, there are a couple of these that are actually required, so I will show them. Such as this one. So... The bombs are unfortunately going to be a bit difficult to deal with because we don't have Yuna to simply bring Ifrit out and... ...take fire magic. Oh. And there being three bombs here doesn't exactly help. Um, let's haste Lulu. And... Can we magic break this guy? No, I didn't think so. I could have sworn I tried that once before and failed, but we are dealing with a different breed of, uh... Oh, you know, maybe this will help. Uh, Lulu recently learned Bio, which is basically this poison. So let's poison the bombs to slowly wear them down. I don't think that'll... St will you stop confusing Lulu? Let's use a remedy on her. Yep. Poisoning poison damage does not make the bombs bigger, so that's a neat little trick. I'm gonna go ahead and use a high bed potion uh, high potion on Lulu. Alright, you are beginning to get on my nerves now. So Going to bio another one of the bombs. Just to make dealing with them easier. And I have had enough of you, Mr. Guado Guardian, so let's get you out of here. Let's launch our first strike against you. Oh no, the bomb is getting bigger. And let's bio the last bomb. So I think we're kind of set now to deal with these things. They still just spit weak fire magic at us and they will only resort to fire after they've been hit once because apparently they're too big to come barreling at us. Which I don't necessarily understand. I would think it would do more damage in that case, but... Blizzara! Overkill. You die. You take some damage. All right, what now? Throw fire at us. I do not care. You know, what? I'm just gonna use a weak little blizzard on you, and dead. So that's our first required Spike battle out of the way. Quick. No one levels up, but what in Yevon's name are those quattle thinking? Even Waka's. When even Waka's questioning the Guado who are supposed to be the disciples of Yevon, you know that there is a problem. So, there is nothing in this room, so let's just move on to the next one. Alright, Riku, if you know where Yuna is, lead the way. Wrong. What do you say? We have to get underground. Where's Yuna? The Summoner Sanctum. This way. Summoner Sanctum? That sounds interesting. Holy shit! Where did this thing come from? But yes, another required battle. Preemptive strike. I like the sound of that. With more powerful dual horns and another one of these jackasses. So. I'm going to go ahead and start with a cheer. The dual horns have no elemental weakness I can exploit. 
Um, I am gonna power break him though, just to help things. Um, with Lulu. These things should be susceptible to Bio, right? Yep. Oh, Bio's gonna come in so much handy. I'm gonna hit you. I don't know why he just loves getting critical hits on Guado. Not that I'm complaining, but... Don't gore me! High potion away. At least these Guado don't auto-heal themselves, so that's kinda nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, he's not dead. Well, now he is. Get out of here. I've had enough of you. Okay, so let's use another cheer. Um, actually, I want Lulu to heal herself. And she just pulls out of her cleavage. Uh, so apparently that's kind of a theme here. So now I'm going to... Oh, you're almost dead anyway, so there's no need for a power break. Die. And with Lulu... Let's just go ahead and water on this one. I haven't used water in a while. And again, they have no elemental weaknesses or resistances. And now it's dead. Wonderful. Over here! Um... Isn't there... Yeah. I could have sworn there was... Oh yeah, there's a door back here. What's in here? No, not that way. Fiends in a treasure chest. So this one isn't actually required, so I will wrap this up pretty quick and... I will get back to you guys in a moment. Alright, so now that that battle's been taken care of, we've got a couple of treasure chests here. Um... Hmm. Um. Yeah, they basically give you a bunch of options and you can choose what you want. I'm going to take an elixir. Oh! Albed Primer! And a voice crack. Albed Onion. I did not know that was there. I the passport in proper Albed. Um. Aha! Friend Sphere! So yeah, if you just fall, just go where the arrow tells you to, that gives you your answer. It's the same every time, I believe. Um... I'm actually gonna call it quits here. Um, this episode's gone on for a little while already, and... I wanna give you guys a bit of a break from the flashing red lights. So, thank you for watching, I have been Rub Dad. sorry to cut this intense scene off at such a uh, point, but in the next episode we will keep looking for more of the treasure here in home, and hopefully we'll find Yuna before the Guado do. I will see you guys then.